Welcome to episode... Actually, it's episode one, Lauren. It's episode yeah, one it of is. series two of Fab Life. So we can count Lauren our Lauren. anniversaries by the weeks, which is quite good, isn't it? And so we cannot go, what episode? You know, because we'll get to a point where it'll be like, welcome to episode 1053. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's too much. Um, yeah, it's too much. How are you doing? How's it going? Oh, I'm good. I've just got myself a little cough that you can actually see. Yes, so... Um, this is going to be the bad thing when you've got a gin, or slash I've got a gin, be able to see it. Oh, well, I'm know. drinking a coffee, mainly because I think we have a public apology to make to the Fab <laughs> Lifers over the state of how we were during our anniversary episode. I mean, I think they hey. understand. I think they're okay with it. But yeah. Um, yeah, we were we were a little bit drunk, but not in a bad yeah, way. Yeah, we were a bit tipsy. No, we're we're fun drunks. We tell ourselves anyway. So, you know, I'm hoping that no one was offended by that. Um, no. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I mean, we had a great old time. I mean, I regret wearing black, white blouses, matching white blouses. Though we were just a whitewash of a wall, weren't we? We were a little bit, but hey, we're still learning, and you're in it for the for the for the journey. Hashtag journey. Hashtag journey. Yeah, here you are, Fab Lifers. But also, have you noticed, a lot of people went over to YouTube and watched it as well as listening. So I was ever so chuffed with that, that people didn't just do one or the other. People were intrigued, I think, when they heard Probably. it on Thursday morning to go over there to is, the U of the Tube. There is a point during the recording as well, I don't know if anyone spotted it, we might be able to clip it and zoom in on socials, but my shirt actually pops open. <laughs> my, one of mine. Well, if my it wasn't buttons. yours, it was mine. I know I it like was like we... buttons. Oh god, flashing everyone off. We, we should have called it, it rather than an anniversary. It was the divorce episode. Our buttons were filing for divorce, left, right, and centre, <laughs> weren't they? Mine was coming. They up. were. They were giving I, up. I don't know if I'm in denial about my size. You know, I think well, I might been be a bit that for a while. Did you? Um... <laughs> Did, well, it's because you've bulked up. You're a beefy fellow these days. Yeah, I know. In a I great know. way. <laughs> Look at me agreeing. Um, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I am beefy. You're right. God, my chest, my arms are so great. Well, we did have friend of the pod, Adam, message uh, saying visuals, are your tits out? And I, because he knows it's <laughs> going to be me replying most of the time on Instagram, and I was like, "Well, um, I was like, Lee was popping out of his shirt as well," and he was like, "Of course he was. Whose tits fell out first? And I was like, "It's obviously Lee's." So yeah, so people <laughs> knew. People knew we were both going to have our tits out. I think <laughs> <laughs> tits out. We should have called it tits out for the lads. Um, that could be this app. I think actually we have mostly female listeners. Have we looked at the demographics recently? Tits out for the lasses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tits out for anyone. The he's, hers, and theys. Yeah, yeah, anyone yeah. Anyone can yeah. see these bad we, boys. We don't discriminate. <laughs> Whoa, we're doing a little shimmy there. Oh, I might pop someone's eyes out. This is a bit low. Um, um, so, so Lee, it's tell me about one. your life. It's uh, episode life. one, and you know what? Actually, we started out, I think, episode two of series one, which was this time last year, was the Valentine's Day Massacre. Mm, so how uh, was yes, your Valentine's Day, babes? Well, as you know, I'm very busy on val Valentine's Day. I, um, <laughs> I go around town selling a bucket of, ro bucket of roses to couples. Um, yeah. It's so... a battle, battle to get to the front door with all them cards popping out. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> no, Valentine's was just a non-entity of a day. Uh, actually, it's half term, so my niece was uh, came over because we have my nephew on a Monday and a Wednesday, and um, she came and woke me up. <laughs> Happy Valentine's! Um, and I'd been out. The night be <laughs> I'd been to a friend's the night before, so I was a little bit hungover. I know on a Monday, oh, people course. have been messaging saying they think I have a drink problem. I'm fine. Certainly no problem from my I end. was hungover as hell on Monday as well, so don't worry. Sunday's a great drink. Yeah, what's wrong with oh. my voice? <laughs> you anyway, pissed um... I think it's my favourite day to get drunk a Sunday, Sunday sesh, because it pops out of nowhere and mm. you feel like you really made the most of your weekend. So I'm always hungover on a Monday, it's just the way it's got to be. Yeah, so um, so she came in and was started playing uh, Olivia Rodrigo, which is like a young person's oh Adele. 
Yeah. I was like, not on She's Valentine's Day. License. Yeah, yeah, not on Valentine's yeah. Day. I got my driving license <laughs> about 17 years ago, but it still hits hard, you know? Yeah, driving past my house and all that shit. Honestly, the amount of times that song got played on the radio, I think even the radio DJs were sick of it. I um, <laughs> When I worked in an office, shout out to a friend of the pod, Joe, in Joe's office, we'd have like those commercial radio stations on throughout the day. And they were genuinely yeah. like the same 10 songs throughout the entire day because they obviously think people just switch off and they only listen yeah. in kind of hour increments. It was a like variety. Yeah, I figured that out when I was about 16. I was redecorating my bedroom. And when I was there for over an hour, I was like, oh, God, I'm singing the same songs. It's terrible. And if you listen to those channels that are the no repeat work day, they just play the same songs every day, but they just don't repeat in that day. But then the next day, it's the same as the day before. Mm. You know? So... You can't win. You can't win. Yeah, you can't win. So, no, uh, more importantly, how is your Valentine? You probably have much more to say. Does I it change now we you're were... married? Mm, I forgot to get a card, Lee, after me banging on about cards last week. I just oh. forgot. And because Freddie knows I love a card, I just assumed we weren't doing anything. But then I made a card and it was really cute. I thought it might be in here, actually, but it's not. It's in the front room. But he got me one with a swan on it because I, in lockdown, really got into birds because we'd gone long walks and I got into like seeing the swans being born. You know, like you did see the you? Signets oh, on your own. yeah. So it was, and what did he write? Did he, did he write? Yeah. Oh, you're the swan that I want. I, I was going to say, I'm glad you swanned right into my life. Swanning around. <laughs> yeah, no, it's swan that I want. Yeah, and some Lindor. So I made him a little card. And what did yours cute. say? Mine was a cut up old, um, we've got all these invites from our first wedding that never happened, so the dates are wrong, and I still use them because we had them specially made and the brand instead nice. So um, I cut up my lemon to a heart. <laughs> wedding branding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our brand was so good until fucking COVID took it away. So I used them as like gift tags because it's like perforated card, pink card, I just put a bit of gold leaf on. So I used one of them and it said Lauren and Freddie on it. It's nice. Oh, oh so, you, yeah. so you just recycled what you already had. Well, it's sustainable yeah, as well. <laughs> eco, eco, babe. You should yeah. have said our relationship is sustainable. Oh, I should have. Just like this card, I can reuse it, you, for the rest of my life. No, that's <laughs> not good. I think about that. Wow, it's brought a tear <laughs> to my eye. Um, oh, honestly. Oh, so Valentine's Day this year was a Monday, wasn't it? I felt, felt like it was very boring. Because I did a gig, actually, the weekend of Valentine's Day. And I was like, anyone here celebrating Valentine's? Deathly silence. No one gave a shit. Yeah. Yeah, no one cares. I feel like, although I went out teaching tap on Monday night, back into the teaching of dance again, which was great. And my classes were chocker full because I only realised on route, I was like, people might not go, but I saw loads of people outside the tube station with like roses. And it is actually sweet to see when you see these like young lads with bunches of roses like waiting for the date. It's like, oh, no, that was quite that nice to cute. see anyway. Yeah. It was sweet to see. On Friday night, actually, while we're in this room, so if you can see me here, I've um, I've got my two-tier, um, what's it, wardrobe situation. I we I went out with a couple of mates, and we all got so hammered. I came in, I was getting changed, and I just fell into that bottom tier of that rail, and oh I pulled no. it right off the wall. So oh, that was gosh. Fun. <laughs> this is, that was Freddie's Valentine present. This was a picture of me, like, between the things, like, it was really funny and we fixed it, so it was fine. So you haven't been out, you're not going out for dinner or anything? No. You go out all the time organize. anyway, don't you? It's yeah. Not, it's not any different. Do you know what, though? Because of Cosa Vosa, it was hard to get back in the swing of it because, like, and you just forget that you can go back out and just go to the pub on a, you know, on a weeknight or go out for a pizza even or something. You kind of just forget because we got into the routine of, like, cooking all the time and... And then you realise I'm a bit bored and you realise it's because you've not been out for ages. So we're making a plan in March when we're both not as busy. To do Lovely. A big, bigger date night, dinner night, you oh, know. fantastic situation. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably do, I'll probably do Valentine's in March or April or <laughs> yeah. May or be, whenever, really, whenever anyone <laughs> wants to. Whenever. <laughs> volunteer. Whenever anyone wants to ask me out, yeah. 
<laughs> I didn't even drink on Monday night actually because I was quite hungover. My light, my light yeah. martinis are strong. Oh, they're a little bit. But when they're nice and sweet, though, oof, you can't tell, can you? Well, the thing is, I did it a little bit too sweet the first one, and everyone was like, "Oh, <laughs> sweet, isn't it sweet?" You know, when they're like, they're trying to be, comp- <laughs> they're like sipping it, and she went, "Oh." Mm, mm. Oh, it's very, very sweet. And you're like, okay, yeah. I get the, I get your hint. So <laughs> right, I was it. like, oh my god, this point. is way too sweet. So then I, I just lowered the measurement of the, uh, the sugar syrup. Yeah, of the sugar. I feel like I've nailed it. But yeah, I got a little bit, uh, a little bit drunk on the Sunday. I only went round for a fish pie. Ended up getting trolled. Oh, um, oh my god, I love a fish pie. Who made you a fish pie? My neighbours. <laughs> uh, I don't just oh, go around to my neighbours for dinner. Uh, it's Holly's mum and dad, and then uh, did they so use Carl Peat fish? Carl they Piet used Carl Peat fish, fish, but they used a recipe which was actually very nice. I think it's a Jay Shiki recipe, and it has like Worcester sauce Ooh. and mustard in apparently, and it was Posh. a very yeah. nice sauce. Yes, very nice. Yeah, um, yeah. Freddie puts a bit of mustard when he does a fish pie it's good because i don't like mustard so if someone said to me oh there's mustard in this sauce i'd be like please leave it alone leave get it away from me but <laughs> get it out of this. You, you couldn't taste the mustard oh my god i'm so glad for you what a valentine's pre-evening that was then no mustard, I know, mustard free I know. Love neighbor to valentine's it. nalentine's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Oh, God, I love you. Um, so oh, you patronising cow. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet, isn't it? God, I love you. <laughs> oh, you. Little old you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, don't worry. It's fine. We're doing fine. It's so um, weird. I feel like the dynamics changed because I can see you. I know, I know. I know. It's distracting me. Look I'm either you. catching your eye or my own eye. Um, so yeah. for anyone listening, you we are... You look really profesh. Do I? Because I've got my my over there, yeah. my Bose, my Bose headphones. I've just got my uh, little little Bluetooth numbers in, you see. Little no, Bluetooth. so for anyone listening, we are recording this we're on a uh, visual as well, but it might not work, so it, it's all audio. It's always going to be audio, but uh, there might be a visual yeah. too, so... I'm not, I'm not referencing our visuals too much, else. not like last time, um, because <laughs> it might not work. <laughs> You last time were like really looking at the camera as well, which I love. You were like, last time I was Hi, like, welcome to. Yeah, but I was a bit like, where's the floor manager? I, can I, sorry, can I, can you speak to the gallery? There is no gallery. Sheila? <laughs> Sheila? <laughs> can I just get a top up of water, please? <laughs> Slash gin. Um, Slash another tinny. Oh, that tinny was so nice. Actually, I had one at the weekend, one of them tankerettes. The Seville tankers. ones, yeah, yeah, the orange yeah. ones, very nice. Because gin and tinny is minging, isn't it? Well, Lauren, sorry to interrupt from that thrilling conversation about gins <laughs> and tins, which actually we could probably do a whole episode on. Um, yeah, we could. Have you watched from tins and gins to tindler swindler? <laughs> Well, right. I haven't watched it, but Freddie watched it. I mean, it's so up my street as well. But where was I? Maybe it was while I was out teaching. He just, like, binged it and watched it all and then explained the whole thing to me. So I feel like I've watched it. Oh, for God's sake. Why has he done that? How many episodes is it? Just one. It's like an hour and a half long. It's like a full oh, film that's documentary. Why. He was basically like, they could. it could have been a bit shorter, and it is interesting, but they could have made it a bit snappier. So he basically told me everything that happened. But I've been enjoying the memes, because I feel like I've watched it, because the memes are killing me. Just before Valentine's as well. Really well-timed, I thought, on their front. Well, I have to disagree with Freddie. I... Did you I love was it? hooked. Hooked. Now... I watched it over two days because I started... I didn't realise it was going to be so long. So I started watching it at, like, I think it was, like, half ten at night and I was really tired. Um, yeah, in fact, really it was on Valentine's Day night. Thought, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought I could last an hour. Anyway, it was, like, an hour and 40 minutes or something. So I, um, I finished it yesterday and I genuinely mm. was affected by it. Like, I felt a bit really sad for the for the girls for the um, women oh yeah yeah it was affecting me it was actually a quite harrowing in ways because i felt like i and i, I don't want to give too much away to people who haven't seen it because there is that window period of like 
if we were talking about this in months to come, we can probably talk about it. Yeah. But, you know, people still haven't seen it. But basically, it's all about catfish. And I just was like, I cannot believe this has happened. It's mental. And there's no real redemption at the end, I have to say, which I felt a little bit it's robbed not. of. I was, because it starts off and you're like, oh God, oh God, what's going to happen? And I'm hating it. And then. It goes into like, oh, here we go, here we go. And then like the end <laughs> does kind of trickle off a little bit. But I was just horrified. But I wanted to say, you know, let's talk about catfishes. What better subject to talk about? Catfishes, yeah, catfishes. I've never, I don't have think I've ever, ever been properly catfished. But I have got on a date and gone, oh, you don't look like your picture. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like... I do look like my pictures and I've got a lot of pictures to choose from. So that's one thing where I'm like, because a lot of a lot of lads, especially like straight lads, they're so ashamed to just put a headshot on. And it's kind of like, well, that's what your face looks like to so just put one on like this, you, you know, like this one, like you can't get away from that when you get on the date. Like, yeah, you might be a bit thinner or a bit fatter or whatever than your picture, but your face is your face. Like, just put your face on. I'd rather see that than like everything else. But lads are always like in shades or like... In on a group holiday, so you don't know which one it is, and all that kind of jazz. Or the hers, like, yeah. it's all different. You know what I mean? Well, so, I, mean. I read somewhere, I think I watched it on TV, like, there was a dating expert on, and they were saying about how apparently you should always put, like, kind of semi average photos on. I know what you're thinking. I don't mm. have semi-average photos. <laughs> um, but... I did used to do that, though. I didn't use modelling ones because I was like, that yeah. is, that's just airbrushed. Like, I don't exactly. Like that, you know I mean? I, and also, like, you address the plot. So, so it's like, she said, that the woman was saying, basically, if you put on photos where you look nice, but you're not like, oh, my God, I look amazing in this photo, because they will turn up and be like, well, you don't look like that photo. But, and because yeah. I, I used to get quite a lot... Not, people saying you actually look better in real life and at first I'd be like how offensive but then I'd be like oh, actually no this is quite good that's um, good yeah 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 totally. yeah so apparently you should you should use kind of like semi-average and not your best photos or like only use a couple of really good photos but the rest be kind of average yeah um but this guy wasn't just a catfish he was a professional was a conman, fraudster an absolute yeah. I mean, how it can was... you sleep at night? Oh like, well, quite I easily. Just don't get I mean, it. On that private jet, oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, absolutely hammered on champers. Like, I just don't get how you can sleep at night. Like, that's like—is that being a sociopath or a psychopath? But I think he's an absolute sociopath. Yeah, sociopath. Yeah. probably actually all, almost quite psychopathic as well. Because um, you can just go mental. to bed at night and you've but... just done something awful. Oh, can't stand it. Yeah, I, I, and I was watching it. I had this weird, like, I, I could, I could start, it was like empathy. <laughs> I was like, what is this feeling? So sudden and new, empathy? But it, it was, I was really, I had a real kind of reaction. I, I felt really, I don't know, I don't know what it was. I could just was like, oh my God, I felt so sad for the girls. It was awful. Yeah. Yeah. It's I've bad. been catfished. That one that have you, who by? Tell me your catfishing story. Well, I've been... Um, <laughs> you were like... Mm -hmm. I've been on both sides. So I've been catfished where people have just used a fake photo. Um, and <gasps> I've asked... How I've asked you get away with that? Well, I've asked people on dating apps before to send... So I'll say, send me a photo of you holding three fingers up. And because people have asked me that before, I'm, I'm always okay with sending it. So yeah, yeah. if they're not okay with sending a photo of them going like, you know, it's me, then it yeah. suggests to me that you are a catfish. Um, yeah, definitely. I'll sometimes change the three fingers to something else, just so, you know, people don't go wind of like my Or like the trick. today's paper or something. Like. <laughs> anyway, well, yeah, but that is a little <laughs> bit hostage situation. <laughs> yeah, it is, Hold isn't it? me to ransom. <laughs> um... <laughs> so I've done that. Uh, but I woke up once to a friend who messaged me saying, um, Lee, can I you know please confirm? In. Yeah, do you remember? You, it was, was like, it to me. What? The same friend? That person messaged me. Do you not remember? 
Oh, oh my God. No, Tell you a story, because I, maybe I've mixed up two stories, but I remember being at work once and me and you, someone had done something. But yeah, carry on with yours. Maybe it is the same, maybe it's not. Well, I woke up to a message from my friend saying, can you just confirm that we were chatting all night last night? Because I've just woke up to us chatting and it suddenly dawned on me that this could have been a catfish. And I was like, I have not been talking to you all evening. And he was like, oh my God, babe. And it wasn't just, it was someone pretending to be my identity. So he texted yeah. this, a load of my contacts saying, this is my new number. I dropped my phone. Do you know what he said? He said, I dropped my phone in the toilet while having a dump. Immediate red flag. That is <laughs> not the kind of word that I use. This, dump. They text me. They text me, I remember. Because I message your old, I looked at your like I text back because it was the same picture and everything and but they didn't say that to me about dump because like, that would have been like red flag but the way they were texting me I was like it sounded like you and then for some reason um I can't remember why but I was like huh I'm just gonna look at these old phone and just see if anyone's using it or something maybe that's why I was like oh whatever and you were online on your old yeah. number so I was like Oh, so I think I messaged you separately, or I messaged you on oh, Facebook or something I different. Remember. I remember just being at work, and it was something weird. It, there was a question you asked me, like, "Oh, can you send me a picture from this night?" You asked me something weird, and I was like, "Why would he want that?" And then I think I messaged you on like Facebook instead, or Twitter, or something, and you were like, oh, "Don't reply, it's someone else." And then it went into a whole Wagatha Christie, right? It went into whole. So this was before Wagatha Christie happened so basically yeah, you were the, the person, first wag of the crystal well no because to try and catch out this catfish i had a feeling that i knew who it was and to try and catch them out i did the exact same trick that colleen really yeah. did but unfortunately mine didn't work um you taught her everything she knows <laughs> well no because when that happened i was like oh my god i did the same thing um yeah but this person was like saying things about the ITV summer party, was like messaging things, and then started like slagging off someone else that I knew and like there was a mutual friend. It was, it, they were gathering information. It was very strange and it was quite weird. That is weird. I've still got the transcript and I still do have <laughs> an inkling over to who it was. I've never found out, but I've always had an idea over did. who the person oh, was. No, no, because the Wagathy Christie thing I did, and basically I, I put the one person into my close friends list on Instagram stories. On the gram, yeah. And basically waited for them to watch that story, and it was basically me saying what I was doing tonight. And then I got my friend to text saying, what are you doing tonight? And if yeah. the friend, if that person would have said, oh, I'm going, and I had, I put that I was going to a Mary Poppins exhibition. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, it. which actually I could have well have been. But if, if that yeah. person would have said, I'm going to a Mary Poppins exhibition, boom, I would have caught them out. And I would have gone to the employer and shown them everything. But unfortunately, they just made up something. So it probably wasn't them or they didn't <gasps> fall into Bummer. the trap. Yeah, but yeah, I got they just properly catfish. Yeah. Um, what the fuck? Like, what did you do in the end to get rid of it? Because you never sussed it out. Did they just stop my doing friend, it? Yeah, my friend was like, uh, we know we know who this is, or we've got a feeling, you've got a problem. And the, the person messaged back and was like, I do have a problem, I'm sorry. And, oh, my friend started saying something like, by the way, my friend works in tech, we will trace this. <laughs> And we will be going to the police. And the guy was like, or the <gasps> girl, maybe it was a girl, was just like, um, I've actually done nothing illegal. And technically they hadn't, they hadn't done anything uh, illegal. Um, that's why it's bullshit. That's why the sweet Bobby's good, because they're trying to make it like... Yeah, a, oh, know, sweet Bobby. Events, if, it's like, yeah. If anyone hasn't listened to the sweet Bobby podcast, I urge you to. It's... Mental. We love a catfishing story, me and you, though, don't we? That's why. Ugh. But can you can see why that? people fall for it. And they were saying things, and like, and then they started getting like flirty and was like saying things about. And I just think, oh my god, who else have they been pretending to chat to? 
Yeah, I mean, I was. I remember feeling freaked out, and I only like they only messaged me once, and I was at my desk at work at the time in like my old job, and I think it was WhatsApp for web, so I just replied really quick because you would just message me, you know, on a whim, just being like, what, ask me a little question, I just go do, and then you said something else, and it was just something was weird, and maybe it was flirty, maybe I could tell it was like a straight guy or something, I don't know. Yeah, it's just weird. because there is that thing, public announcement to anyone now as well, there is that thing where um, sometimes people will get someone's number and they'll pretend to mm. be that person and they'll say, they'll WhatsApp you saying, hi, uh, my WhatsApp, this is my new thing, but I need to verify it through a friend. Um, can I send a code to your, to your number and you copy and paste me the code? And what they do... Yeah is then they'll put your number into the WhatsApp recovery thing and it will send <sighs> your number a recovery code. And then you get all the contacts, code, right? And, you, oh and then God. you will send the code thinking, oh, this is the code they asked for, but it's your code and they'll hack your WhatsApp. That is a known hack. <gasps> but this person didn't do that. This person was pretending to be me to get information on other people strange how did they get your contacts though that's what's weird that's what freaks me out people are just they weird. mess got too i much think time they hands. messaged on instagram i think i think my friend we followed each other on instagram and my friend had a contact button on his instagram which had his number on so he messaged um, him through that yeah so uh, it's weird how they found yours but maybe they messaged you on maybe i used else. to have yeah, yeah or I, possibly. I think I maybe used to have it on my face, but way back. Um, oh my god, people are batshit. I feel like I'd be really easy to to catfish. Do you know what I mean? Because I'd like I'm out there with my dolly d pin up, just being like, hey. And sometimes I, you know, I do worry. Now, when you watch all yeah. these things, you're like, oh god, someone's gonna do that to me. But the the thing is with you, I, I think from my point of view, if I saw someone with like professional photos like that, like model photos, I would immediately yeah. be like, prove it's you. You know, yeah, I, yeah, that's I, not I, hold up three, yeah. I'd get you holding up three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a lot of selfies now, just like get them fucked up. <laughs> or I'd say, I think I once yeah. said something like, right, where are you right now? And they were like, oh, um, at, at home. And I said, right, go and get a fork and hold up a fork and take a photo of it. <laughs> and they did, because they were like, it is me. And it's the same. I would yeah. have no problem holding up a fork. <laughs> yeah, you just, yeah. But you need a mate when you know what your house looks like. That's the thing. Because if it's just a random yeah. Instagram follower, they'd just believe you. Oh, God, wait for that. No, it's gonna be it wouldn't be, no. Because it would have to be you holding up the fork. Oh, I, I thought you meant say... it was like of your fork set. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I know no. Lauren's forks. If I know uh, anything yeah. about Lauren, it's the shape of her forks. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm not just going to say send a picture of your fucking fork. Anyone's got a fork. <laughs> I'm saying. Hey, I got some nice ones for the wedding. <laughs> hold up a fork with you in shot so they don't just have a random photo of them holding a fork. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> oh God! Golly gosh! Well, I hope you don't get catfished again. Have you ever been catfished though, where someone's like you've gone on the date though? Because I've not been fully uh, catfished, but I've got there and I've just gone. You look well different, and I, not, I've, I've had way. that. I've, I've I've had it where they have looked very different. I think I've told the story before about the terrible date I had. Um, yeah, I remember that one. Whew, not good. So yeah, I have. Um, I have been before and I thought, ooh, you do not look like that. Um, but not yeah. loads, not loads at all. I think you get into the swing of it actually when you're dating and you can tell someone, like when you're on the apps and you go, I'm not going to go out with you because I can tell by that picture that it's blurry and you've done, like, so you're, if you're too ashamed to put a picture of your face, like I said before, I'm not going on a date with you because you clearly don't look like that that's your best picture and it's a blur mm. <laughs> i also think if they've got a picture with them like stood next to a car that for me is immediate red or on flag. a beach I'm... lad skiing well, is don't... the one for me i'm like you're just telling me that you ski like, oh, i don't mind so that I don't so want to go much out with you. I, I don't mind that so much because no. if i saw him on a beach i'd be like oh he likes to travel um 
<laughs> but if it he doesn't... like had a picture of him like sat in a car, for example, and it was a nice car, I'd think, oh god, you'd love your cars. And I don't know, I just am a bit like Tinder I'll get swindler. Over it. That Tinder swindler. Tinder swindler. Yeah. If they're on a private jet, it's an immediate red. I mean, I have to say, <laughs> I was a bit like I would be going on that private jet. <laughs> um, Me too. I'd be on it. But, but he, I don't yeah. get how much. How much is a private jet? Like how a is lot, that so about hundred odd grand. It's ludicrous. Yeah. Fucking dick. He wasn't even that fit. I know that he was, was something of... I thought. I was like, he's not even that fit. And how's he? I'd just be like, there's this? too much baggage. Yeah, you and your enemies can do one. It's too much baggage. I'm dating someone else. <laughs> too much baggage on this dirt. private jet. You can have as many, you can have as much as you want. No 22 kg You can have as many allowance. kilos as you like. It's not, it's not Ryanair. <laughs> God, Ryanair, you only get half a kilo, I'm sure. Oh, Christ, you barely even get a backpack. Fuck, you know. Fuck, you know. Do you know what really I used to do? Have you ever been where, so you, if you only, you only travel with hand luggage and you're like at the back of the queue Love and they're that. like, sorry, this hand baggage is going to have to go in hold because we've not got room now. Yeah, because the... everyone's took the hand luggage on. Yeah. So I'm like, I hate, oh, that, man. I hate that. So what I've done numerous times and it always works, apart from once where it was actually full, because what they do is they predict it <laughs> when it like will be full. Yeah. And it's never that full. So I like... I'm like, yeah, no worries. And they put that little tag on. So as you get there, they take yeah. it off you. I just rip the tag off because I'm like, I'm having it. Because the, the reason I like to travel with just hand luggage is so I don't have to wait. So you can by walk that straight fucking out. conveyor yeah. belt, which takes ages. Half the time your lugg luggage gets lost. Oh, I'm angry now. Yeah. I'm, I'm ranting. I, but the thing is with me, I refuse to queue to get on the plane so that but then, so then when it's always Ryanair, because like you, people would like, like take the hand luggage and they've got a case, a backpack and a hand, little handbag over the thing. I'm like, mm. guys, come on now, just take one bag. Anyway, but I refuse to queue to get on the flight because it's not going to take one of these? Quicker. I literally, I'm oh, the last you're person You're one of walks, them, so. you're going, yeah. I don't know why everyone's rushing. It's not going to take, it's not going to oh, leave without script. us. But I always think, you can have well, one I'm last rushing. Drink, you know. Well, yeah, but I'm I'm <laughs> rushing because I want to get my hand baggage on. If I've already got checked in allowance, yeah. I'm not that I'm not that bothered because if I'm picking one thing up, I'm picking all of them up. But yeah, if 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 it's I refuse oh, to get on that yeah. flight. Honestly, I refuse to stand up for half an hour. It's just too much for me. But it gives yeah. me anxiety, which is really hilarious. I'm like the most laid back traveller you've ever like travelled. Oh well, I'm a little bit. It's like good that. for him. He it's good for him because he's like. If he's with someone and they've got anxiety, he's like, "Oh, just travel with Lauren because she's like the most laid-back person." It actually chills out because I'm like, "Don't worry, you're fine. We've got this." Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. one of them where it says it, it, it. They'll go. It says go to gate. I'm like, "Oh, that just means you know they know what gate it is. It's not open yet." And then they'll be get like, "Get your perfume. It says, go on, get your perfume." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says boarding. I'm like, "Yeah, but they'll be boarding the first five people. We'll be fine." Like I'm very yeah. nonchalant. In fact, I think I'll go yeah. to the gate when it says boarding nothing before yeah nothing before we should fly together and we'd probably not make it on the flight i know I because we'd both be like that. we're still boarding it'd be fine we'd need someone serious i nearly i missed a flight before I, uh, we were we were getting a final call and they really told us off and craig who i was traveling with he hates being told off by anyone and as we got to the oh, plane everyone was there and he just went it was his fault and pointed at me <laughs> towards everyone and i was and he i was just probably laughed. thinking i'm gonna get on this I was like, <laughs> yeah, it was my fault. I was buying a panini because the food plane, oh, God. the food on the plane is so shit. Yeah, we nearly missed a flight from Vegas to San Fran and they nearly didn't let us on because we were hammered. Because we oh, just got no. the timings wrong because of the time difference. So we had it in the thing an hour later. So we oh, got straight through and they were like, why are you late? And we were like, oh. You um, feel like a child. Know, I know. And then they were like, all right, we'll let you on. But um, in this point, as well, you could tell Freddie was drunk. He was like, oh, we've not got any tap, though. While they're checking these people, and I'm just going to run to that shop there and get some Las Vegas, like, magnets. You know what I mean? So he was, like, taking the piss royally. And then they were like, all right, we'll let you on. Because we were like, oh, we're ever so sorry. Like, you know, we've been at a wedding and we're going to this thing or whatever we were saying. And they're just like, you can get on, but you're not allowed a drink when you get on the flight. I love the fact that you. So we just conked out. 
that you thought that if you told them you'd been to a wedding in Vegas, they'd go, oh, well, that's a special occasion. There's one practically every five minutes. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you and all the rest of the flight have been to a fucking wedding, love. And your husband's wearing I a, I went to Vegas and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, got exactly. his merch. <laughs> we were so dressed up as well because we'd been to this like vintage pool party, so I had a big fucking hat on. So I think it was actually that that saved us that we weren't dressed like absolute slobs. You know, like oh, we were yeah, actually quite yeah. dressed up, oh, even though we were shit first. Well, oh, when God, I'm talking yeah. to Craig again, Craig missed an actual flight <laughs> in Vegas um, <gasps> with my friend Yasmin, and she'd bought him this top. Um, from the film Clueless and it just said Clueless in it and they arrived yeah. the whole airport was um, empty and when it dawned on them that they were wearing this t they'd missed this flight they were he, like, actually down Clueless at, yeah. yeah he looked down at this top that said Clueless and he was like I can't wear this I need to get this off <laughs> he was like panicking did they have to pay loads of money to get luckily call? luckily I think it cost them about an extra hundred pounds um and then they it's got like getting on the train though in america isn't it like to fly well no this because this was vegas back to uk they were lucky they were oh, i shit. think i think Whoa, virgin were like we've got we've got seats on the next flight we you can change them for an administrative fee i think they could i think they were like he's wearing a clueless t-shirt we need to help him out <laughs> come on now <laughs> come yeah, on come on we're all tired oh god we love him We've covered a lot today, haven't we, Catfish? Oh, we've to covered a lot. Flights. Oh, God, if anyone wants to sponsor us with <laughs> free flights. <laughs> yeah, what else have we covered? If anyone wants to sponsor us with gins and tins or free flights, you know, just drop into our DMs. We will, I think, take that into consideration. So mm. please just let us know. <laughs> Seville orange gin. Oh, it's making me crave one. It's not actually. I feel like I need a break. I need a break from alcohol. I need a break. I might not drink this weekend, you know, because I've, I've got to I've we'll see how that stick goes. it up. Yeah, so watch this space, I'll let you know. You do feel good after it, but the only thing is, if you miss a weekend, by Monday night you're gagging for a drink, aren't you? Because mm. you're like, well, I've earned it because I didn't drink this weekend. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. Updates to follow. Updates to follow indeed. Uh, but this has been season two of Fab Life with Lauren and Lee. We've started it with a bang. Um, keep joining yeah. us for the journey. Most people have a, a break. We've only had a week break. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, maybe we should have one. Nah, it's fine. Nah. On season well, two, we feel guys. we need one. Uh, but yeah, yeah this we'll has been episode one of season two of Fab Life. With Lauren and Lee. <laughs>